Hello there, and in this video, I'm going to be taking you through how to change icons within the HomeKit Home app. Hi, welcome back to HomeKit Authority, and my name is John. If you're new around here, HomeKit Authority is dedicated to HomeKit news, reviews, and tutorials. So if you've not already subscribed, then hit the subscribe button and also the bell button to be notified when new videos come out. Also, if you've got a question or a comment about this video or you need some help, then leave it in the comment section below and someone will get back to you. So within HomeKit, you can change the icons. Now, this could benefit you if you've got a light, for instance, that's a ceiling panel, and you want to show it as a Cineum panel so you can easily identify it. Now, not all HomeKit devices can have the icons changed. At the moment, you only can change window coverings, lights, power sockets, and fans. So in order to change the icons, there is two different ways of doing this, depending on the icon you want to change. But you do need, first of all, the Home app open within iOS 13 on your iOS device. So first of all, I'll show you how to change icons for lights and blind accessories. So open up the OMAP and navigate to the OMKit accessory you want to change. So in my example, I want to change the window covering for the living room blind. So all you do is you 3D touch on the tile and then you click at the bottom the cog menu. You then click on the icon next to the name of the accessory. Once you're in there, you've got various different options. So you can see here, you've got ones that open outwards, one open inwards, and I'm gonna choose the one for a blind. And then I click done, and it's all changed. As you can see now, it's changed within the HomeKit app. Next up, I want to show you how to change icons for PowerPoints. Now, this is slightly different to the previous version, but not much, but I just want to show you that. So again, open the HomeKit app, and I'm gonna choose the living room, TV PowerPoint and click the cog. As you can see here, it identifies the living room TV, but the difference here is this bit where it says display as. You've got the option to display as a fan or a light. If you choose light, you've got the light options to choose. If you choose a fan, you've got the different fan options. And obviously if you go back to a PowerPoint, you've got the different PowerPoints and you've got different PowerPoints for different regions. Now I'm just gonna select the PowerPoint there. And as you can see, it's changed. You're all done. And you can see it's changed within the Home app. So that's all the different ways you can change the icons within the HomeKit app. Hopefully with iOS 14, we'll see different ones. We'll also may see the ability to download our own icons within the Home app. But we'll have to wait and see for the summer to see what happens. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video. If you've liked it, give me a thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel as it's greatly appreciated as more videos will be coming out over the next couple of months. So guys, thank you very much. I'll speak to you soon.